Jam, so um, we have it up. Ryan, don't find anything. It's nearly three years after he says he is looking. What exactly is he looking for? <laughs> Another Florida vacation. <laughs> that was a good one. Good one. Hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late, but hey, what better time to, to start than 11 11? So here we go. How's everybody doing? It looks staged. Look like someone was staying in that loft. What loft? See, I haven't watched what this this. I haven't watched it at all. I just uh, heard, you know, from everybody else what was in this video that Ryan had or whatever. I thought we would uh maybe watch some of it so we could laugh. Because I'm, sh I mean, the whole little, the screenshot that I saw that somebody gave me of him trying to act like he was searching when literally they were up there for less than an hour yesterday. <laughs> He's trying to play off like he did the, some huge search. Fred was out there yesterday on Ben Hill Road with uh, Kathy. Those vehicles were were only at the end of the driveway between less than an hour period. So this whole, you know, him, I hear that Ryan clears 125. Okay, so Ryan clears 125 in less than an hour. <laughs> Is Fred here? Uh, yes. Yes, we noticed their vehicles. I, I showed them yesterday. <laughs> Fred told me one of them was um, Andy's parents' car, the blue one. So, you know, it's funny that he's he doesn't drive the Kia anymore. He's driving his parents' vehicle. And then the other vehicle, like the Cadillac, I didn't see Ryan's Jeep. Um I don't know that some of them had to have rode together because Ryan had to have rode with one of them because um, nobody went up the driveway. Not even there was no like tracks. The tiny shovel. Yes. When I saw that tiny shovel that he is using for his search. <laughs> I know that they let the Kia go back, but I'm just saying. Hold on. Hold on. This is the one I was going to show you guys because it's hilarious. 
This is the guy who needs um, security when he goes up on Ben Hill Road. He's armed with a one foot shovel. <laughs> what the hell is he going to do with that thing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Ew, did Ryan help Andy dispose of Jody Sue's shit barrels? <laughs> No, I heard from what I'm hearing from everybody is that they literally tried to blame Fred for the trash up on 125. <laughs> like, I don't understand how these people are so desperate for so for something. Like, this is this whole video he's got here is was done in less than an hour. At 125, and I hear he used the word like cleared, you know, 120 or 125. Like, he's really freaking equipped to do that with a freaking one foot shovel that looks like it's for planting flowers. Seriously, that's what it looks like. Okay, well, we'll see, brat, brat, because we're about to watch it. Because I heard, I heard differently that they absolutely did blame Fred um, for trash that was up on 125, as if, but we'll listen. I know how things can get misconstrued. Oh, my gosh. People sent me some hilarious comments that were on his video. Like, it's unbelievable. Hold on. Just want it. This one has. To... Here's a one of them. Okay, there's looks right there. There's the Jeep. Hmm. Somebody said, no disrespect, but please keep in mind that the devil wears sheep's clothing sometimes. And he said, I hear that's what the folks in Salem kept saying as they were drowning women who were convinced, who they were convinced were witches. Well, Ryan, isn't that what you're doing to Fred when you sit there and put out and say that you have evidence of Fred being involved in a crime? Or, you know, insinuating you have evidence of him being involved in Summer's disappearance, but you won't put out the evidence because you don't want to cause problems for the investigation. You are so full of shit. You're just so desperate to be relevant, like for real. Everybody knows about you two, Andy, you, and Cher trying to message people, trying to get them on your little show to try to discredit Fred. I hear you guys are offering money. We'll see. We offering an attic money for an interview. <sighs> well, they're mad at Fred. Just be on the lookout, guys. They have some tricks up their sleeves, but, you know, it's... We're, like, 20 steps ahead of them. <sighs> so stupid. I have another... Let's see, what was the other message? Hold on. One of you guys, I need to open Messenger and check it out real quick. One of you guys sent me a screenshot I wanted to read. Um, I 
Oh, wait, that is one that. Here, actually, maybe it's under his. We'll just look under the comments under his st stupid video. We'll just go look. We'll just take a gander. This week, we received permission from Andy Bernard to visit him with him at 125 Ben Hill Road to search the entire property. In addition to searching around and under anything suspicious, we also walked the entire ridge, this part of this property, to get the point to the point across from Beach Creek where Jen mentioned sensing something nearby. <laughs> During the editing process, we spotted a few areas worth exploring further, which Andy has said he's happy to do, but would prefer to return with us as a witness. So we'll be returning to the property again together soon. <laughs> we want to thank the real Rock and Robin and her husband for assisting us with this location search. And thank you, Andy, for opening up his property to us and allowing us to search anywhere on the property we wanted to. <laughs> Okay, uh, where's these, there's some comments that people sent me. I was hoping. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be very, very. If you want to travel with your kid, but don't want to share your kid's bedtime. I have a feeling it's really, it's already getting my anxiety pump seeing his stupid face. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fred said um, that he has a message. He has a message to Ryan right now. Here, maybe I should screenshot it and share it for everybody. Um, actually, so you guys could see it in Fred's own words. <sighs> Hold on. He has a message to, to Ryan. Okay. And sorry if it's loud in the background. My daughter has a friend over for a few days. We'll be here in any second now. The suspense. So a message to Ryan from, from Fred. Please put it out there, Ryan. I would love for him to prove what he has because he has nothing. Yeah, he's so full of shit. And that's what's so, what is so messed up about this is like, is that people are doing this in the name of a, a missing little girl. You know what I mean? Just causing like playing games and just being ridiculous. I don't understand. This guy's a joke. I mean, for real. Um, can the mods share this channel like every once in a while if I'm going to play some of it? He is shady. He he is shady AF. <laughs> because nobody's going to remember that. Nobody remembers where this guy came from and like how he came on the scene. Makes me smile every time. Aww. Well, why crime? It is joyful. It is cute when it's not like the F word, though. Like, I. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he plans on finding with a one foot shovel and an, with in less than an hour. Let's hear. Hey everyone, today we are going back to Ben Hill Road. 
We are not going to 110. We're actually going to 125 Ben Hill Road. Andy Bernard has agreed to let us uh, walk um, across this property, look around, look under things, uh, take a walk if we want to. And so that's what we're planning on doing today. We really appreciate Andy uh, giving us access to that property. And we've got Rock and Robin and her husband. You all know her as Rock and Robin. Um, we've got her and her husband coming along as well. So we've got um, the four of us and Andy. Andy said we can take a look anywhere we want, and that's what we're planning on doing. So, so we're going to head out there now and see what we see. Do people really think that summer is going to be up on 125? No, I mean, like seriously, what do they think? I mean, does he think it's some great feat to? <laughs> Fred just messaged me and said, what about Fields Road? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I'm sure Fields Road's in the in the cards. I'm sure. Is that a Christmas tree on his porch? <laughs> I knew I'd get good, some good laughs out of this. Alrighty. I think this is... Oh, this is great. <sighs> okay, I don't know if this is, we're gonna have to fast forward through some of this. Yep, there's that blue car that we saw. Appreciate it, Andy. It's uh, he showed us, by the way, barrels. Everyone's talking about. Uh, let's, uh, barrels. This is the only one actually in this whole. Let's let's make sure we don't miss any. Fred Fred said, "What about Fields Road? That would be more of a key area, <laughs> right? I mean." know what you'll find all right that's working hey everyone i am with andy bernard today not monster not voldemort <laughs> andy he's the only one actually How goofy those two are i am so sorry and i don't mean to be mean but we've got tiny shovel necklaces and the his uh hoodie in tow Thank you so much, Skinner. Thank you. He was running stop signs while trying to film the trees and stuff. <laughs> These guys are such... I'm sorry. These guys are... I'm sorry, Andy. You seem like you can be a nice guy, but this is like really goofy. <laughs> they look kind of like twins. I mean, and kind of. Seriously. <laughs> In this whole area, all I'm of Ben sorry. Hill. I'm is sorry to point out the obvious that everybody else is thinking. <laughs> Probably related. <laughs> oh, geez. Let us come on his property today. He's the only one willing to help us. Let us walk around. And um, he's the only one, do, so. he's it. the only one to let us walk around. Okay, oh, the only one. Oh, well, you didn't art, you also didn't freaking trash Andy Bernard's name right before you asked to go up on his property. Freaking idiot. Andy. Some are found, appreciate it, Andy. It's uh, he showed us, oh, by so the way, funny. barrels. Everyone's talking about these famous barrels. They're plastic, metal. There's no wine barrels, wine type wooden barrels around here. Matter of fact, all this crap over here. Apparently, people have been doing this Andy's property for a while. Do you know who, other than we I mean, said Fred was up here doing shit, but is it just neighborhood people? <laughs> He went there. 
you guys are right. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not suspicious. Okay. So what? Oh, we're going to blame the trash up there on neighborhood people in Fred Hill. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? What is this? What is this? Does he not? He has not been doing his homework. Does he realize they got kicked out of freaking quad apartments and the whole place had to be freaking torn down because of their nastiness? Like, people don't get like that. Actually, that inside, like I remember one, like I was telling Fred, I said, I remember one time when you guys answered a door and you guys were sitting on the bed that was right there and it was like perfectly made, you know, and I was like shocked because, you know, 207, yeah, outside it was really messy, which was a lot like a lot of places out there in Tennessee, East Tennessee, honestly, but anyways, um, I was shocked because the bed was made so perfectly, like seriously tucked in, like just like military style, <laughs> you know, and then I see pictures of how uh, Fred keeps his part of the room and stuff compared to everybody else's. He's a very OCD type person. So it's really funny that people have this, it, they just have like this huge, this way wrong picture of Fred. Um, but I understand why in some things, but I, I mean, to go this far and try to put off your own bullshit onto somebody on Fred, that makes you look really suspicious. He said, pull, Fred said, pull that for barrel up and see if that don't look like the for sale self barrel. Does that look like the for sale barrel, guys? Fred wants to know. Where can we see that real quick? Um, hold on. It does. Whoa, good eye. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a, a Fred discovery. The for sale barrel, the red for sale barrel back there. <laughs> that just like looks identical to the one that was, we just, that we see. So that's funny. Cause that's something that Fred pointed out to me a few days ago. And now here we are with absolute proof from Ryan's own video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for proving uh, Fred telling the truth, saying that he thinks that for sale barrel, like, that, that Andy had a bunch of those for sale barrels up on his property, like the one that Don has. So while he's trying to be funny about uh, wine barrels or wooden barrels or whatever, he just uh, really, that was funny. Both of them are kind of orangish red, orangish red. Also, you got to think too, if that's out in the sun, that's going to change the color of the barrel too. So you have to take certain things into account. But anyways, it definitely to me looks very, very similar, but that's research for another day, I guess. For a while. Do you know who? Other than, I mean, you said Fred was up here doing shit, but is it just neighborhood people? 
typically? I have no clue. I've not been really down here. I don't I don't come down here. So it was clean. There was all this crap no, wasn't here. No, it wasn't clean. Like, you know, the shit you see sticking there yeah. and just car parts, car tires, just the, the glass stuff under there. I mean, most of it was here, but... Like, I didn't leave the wagon full of trash over there. Some people dump trash on the Somebody broke the door on the Jeep. This one I was scrapping out. Uh, it's just, it's. Wow. Just okay. So, okay. So, we're able to sit here and blame neighborhood people for that trash. But yet, Fred hadn't been at that property for over six months when they're up there pilfering through shit. But yet. That, all that stuff gets, you know, even after Karen, his own sister, put out there that there was people squatting in there. <laughs> but that does that's okay. We were going to just, we'll just gloss over that. And, but yeah, we want to really point out that Andy hasn't been up there. You know, in this trash, none of it's his. Oh, it's just it's Fred Hill. Hey, be real. Oh, that's the comment that I wanted to show of somebody's. Yeah, this one. Thank you. It was that's that is the comment I wanted or the one I wanted to share with everybody. A comment that be real made. Um, because I thought it was good and made a good point. All right. I can scream for Hill all they want. That doesn't make take the eyes off Andy and Joey. I know. And why are they do? That's what makes it weird. You know what I mean? What did Ryan? Let's see. So Ryan said, "Was it?" He said, even on the day we were there, Fred was poking around with Kathy getting video of Rock and Robin and Andy's car so he could send them off to put on YouTube. That seems to me to fit a pattern. Oh, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me right now? How would we know that you guys were going to be up there? You are so fucking weird. God, that dude is so fucking weird. He thinks he is way more important than he is. That's like when he goes to to freaking Florida and tries to act like, oh, he's going to be recognized. So be real. Uh, uh, sorry, it's blurry. It's blurry for me too, but um. Be Real responded to something that Ryan said about um, those were words Andy had mentioned where you're referring to who he believes typically goes up there. So he's blaming it on Fred, which is really interesting. Really interesting. He wants to put that shit on Fred. Dude, what about the time your fucking apartment got fucking demolished because you guys infested it so bad? Or how about the time when Laura and Fred were up there when Jody Sue was, you know, packing her shit because they she was trying to get a hold of a kitten or cat. She called got Laura and Fred. After someone went missing, fucking cat shit, dog shit all over the bed she slept on. Fred said it looked like she just slept, like she just slept there with dog shit and cat shit all fucking around her. No, I'm not even joking, guys, when I say how disgusting these people are. She used to take out fucking tampons and just throw them wherever, in front of everybody. Fucking disgusting. Their, their place on Cloud Apartments got freaking torn down because of them. How the hell... Is this dude going to say anything? 
But be real, uh, respondent said, Fred, he has been away from that area for over a year. What does it mean he was up there doing stuff? Those are your words. Sure, it's hearsay anyways. In my opinion, Summer is far from that area. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. I'm going to have to get a bulldozer and just right get up in there. Oh, you're going to have to get a bulldozer. All right, okay. Jen, I think we'll just kind of walk around. It's been like this for years. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's pretty soft ground here. I don't know. Something I stepped on and I could hear it. Yeah, I don't. It's not funny. It's all kinds of cool stuff in there. I think you won't mind if I kick them. It's a piece of concrete on top of it, Jen. What? It's a piece of concrete on top of it. See what's going to happen. There's, so much... so There's no way to know, though. Do you know what it makes me think of, Jen? What? That movie where they put a car on top of where they put what someone. What the hell? Somebody sent me a screenshot where, uh, oh, is this from my chat? Crimology said Ryan posted on his Facebook that he was hiring an investigator to help find the next big story that will get picked up by media. That said it all for me. Yep. I'm telling you, guys, he is an opportunist. He does not care about integrity at all. This guy has zero integrity. It's all about what will get him views. That is really telling. Do you give a link to the video? I wanted, what's the video? Let's see, what did Veritas say? He's a funny and fake birds of a feather, yep. We see right through this scam. I've asked three times what changed his mind about Summer being ad adopted and saved by the community. His video is still up his, on his channel. He has, oh, what's his new theory? Oh, is his new theory? It's Fred Hill. Is that it? Is he saying that, oh, his new theory is that Fred Hill. Is that what he's trying to say? <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading one of Fred's messages. <laughs> he said, does he really think that if someone is, that someone's really going to take him where they hide anything? <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Like, is Andy really going to take him to where he's hiding shit? Like, what does this dude think he's going to find? And what kind of major... I don't see what this the major deal is. <laughs> Fred said, get real. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid. I'm serious. That's really what he's saying right now. <laughs> it's funny. And Fred is a man of very little words. So if he's saying that, then that means you're absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> That's just ridiculous. No one is going to bring you to anywhere that they are hiding anything. <laughs> Look at the red Jeep trunk. They need to go check Redmond's property past the gate. Yep. I would say so as well. But, you know, they have had, there has been drones out there for sure. I know that because I saw it myself. I saw uh, that one guy that Cam and Allie used to talk to all the time that had, does the drone stuff. Um, I saw him up there at the Redmond's the first time I met Fred 
earlier in the day. When the first time I went back there, Fred hanging around as well. Yeah, like he just like, yeah, just Fred just hangs out uh, up at 125 and just. Did what about this guy popping out of the fucking woods, like out of nowhere, him and Jody Sue popping out of the woods? When was that? That was Fred was telling me about that. These two, they pop out of the freaking woods out of nowhere. And about got arrested because they were fighting like maniacs. Jody Sue was like <laughs> following him through, like chasing him through the woods. And here pops out Andy. And then Jody Sue, like behind him, yelling at him to get home. And but the cops were already there at Fred's for some reason. I can't. Oh, it was the night that those sh that shooting happened, I think. Jody Sue is probably having a fake heart attack. After seeing this, she will appear wearing five, about six hospital bracelets. <laughs> yep. Andy's parents own like 10 acres way up in the mountain end of Fields Road. And that's the thing, LA Connection. That's what Fred said. He said, well, he goes, a, be a better, a more key, key area would have been um, Fields Road. Not 125. Like, seriously. And then turn around and put your all your stuff out there, but then blame the mess on Fred Hill. Like it, that is so fucking obvious. Fred said, "If anyone has anything on me, please send it to TBI." I will screenshot that and put that out for people to, if they feel like they need permission. <laughs> let's see well that's here it oh it's already arrived <laughs> he really thinks that if someone's going to really go in to take him where they hide anything, get real. If anyone has anything on me, please send a TBI. <laughs> so. I know exactly. Why doesn't he talk to somebody who people want to hear from? Nobody cares about Andy anymore. He's just going to lie. He's already said his part. He's not changing his mind about anything. He's not giving us any more information like Fred does. If Fred thinks of something, he, you know, mentions it. You know what I mean? That's stuff that people do just by memory. They'll think of something and they'll be like, oh, this one time. You know, that's why occasionally we'll, Fred will tell me something that he remembers, you know, we hadn't heard before, but we don't get anything like that from Andy. Andy, it's all, I don't know. And, you know, I, I smoke too much weed and I don't know what I had for breakfast this morning. He never gives us anything. Zero. He never gives us anything. The only thing we get from him is Blaming stuff the, on Fred now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, which doesn't even make sense. He's just run, he's trying to do what he thinks is going to get him the views, you know? And he used my channel to, for, I'm not trying to like, not that my channel is one of the biggest out there at all, not even close, not even in this community, the Summer Wells community even, but it, it was big enough to get him 
to where people noticed him. You know what I mean? And now, and, and then the way he, the, just the way, he's just shady, dude. He's just so shady. He's gross. It, uh, I can't, I couldn't, I can't tell you guys enough how horrible, in my opinion, this person, this guy is. Brian has a ring around his butt. Around <laughs> Is he sitting on a barrel taking a shit like Jody Sue? <laughs> One under. You remember that? It, it goes all the way under there. Well, there's no tire there anymore. Oh, yeah. It's right sitting right on top, and there's plastic over there. Well, there's plastic in the car, too. So... Did it go all the way over there? That is soft ground. Okay, I gotta ask Andy when this car was put here. Uh, yeah, good find, Jen. That was a good find. That may be one we have to investigate. The car's right on top of a rock. That's the thing. How long were you up there? How long were you up there? <laughs> you guys were seriously up there less than an hour. For real. After Ryan made the Fred comment, I clicked all the video, pissed me off. Yeah, I mean, well, that's just a stupid thing to say because that just is so obvious what you're doing when you say something like that. No social etiquette. Oh, a monkey foot. <laughs> I real search to be <laughs> with an adult size shovel. <laughs> he had like a toddler size shovel. <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do with that? Plant flowers? <laughs> what the hell? Is this guy for real? I think he just, I don't know. Is he doing this really ridiculous stuff because he knows he gets attention and he doesn't care how he gets it as long as he gets it? Is that the thing? Fred says, I don't get mad over things people say. But when the real truth comes out, most people are going to look so stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know. But, you know, I think that a lot of people don't take Fred seriously because he's not, like, so, like, outspoken. You know what I mean? And so, like, argumentative and stuff, you know? But I've noticed with Fred, he just says what he just says what he means and means what he says. He doesn't repeat himself. The sand bucket with the tools. <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> the little castle. The castle. Oh, man. Oh, I know. Anything aside? I thought it was uh, just solid. Yeah, solid. Rolled up. Nothing in it. I thought it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I got you here, because I'm not going to be... Man, there are times like this I wish we had a dog. Like a scent dog. Well, you know? Just a scent dog. A scent dog. <laughs> yeah, I know. Times like this, this, I wish we had a scent dog. That's a really random thing to say, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> is he going to get a scent dog? Is that what he's trying to do? Is he trying to put a hint out there, like, planting that, trying to plant that seed that he needs to collect money for a scent dog? 
now a scent dog okay weird random thing to say right on top of the ridge i didn't realize the house is right on top of the ridge house is like a oh it's a sunroom actually right there probably Andy, when was that car put there? Huh? That old car, the red car that's down there. Are you sick of having issues with your webinars, wasting tons of time on troubleshooting with attendees? If so, you <laughs> when was it? Fred said, if they would walk behind the shop, they would see the wood and whiskey, and bar whiskey barrel. So I, I, I'm thinking, I wonder if he goes behind there. So right there, I guess Fred's saying behind there, he's saying it's the whiskey barrels. I wonder if he went behind there. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Fred's saying there used to be whiskey barrels out there. I guess we'll have to. If he was trying to say there, there wasn't, so I don't know. Oh, this is his house, he said. Walk behind the shop. What, uh, which one's the shop? Oh, wait. Maybe he means. Right here. Behind this. Let me see if that's what he means. Um. He said no. <laughs> he said to the right of the house. <laughs> okay. Well, it will. We'll see it here. He'll stop me here in a little bit and let me know. Maybe it's. I can't tell which one's the house and which. You know what I mean? I can't tell what's a house, what's a freaking shed. Go back to the house. Well, I don't know which one's the house. I guess this one. That's supposed to be the house, I guess. Fred's trying to explain something to me. And that's why I'm talking back and forth with him on message. He said, that's the house. Okay. Okay. We, we're making progress. We're making progress. About 50 foot to the right. He said, okay, so you said about 50 foot to the right of the house. And behind this thing, I wonder. Hmm. And there's another barrel right there, too. See, and it's a different color. So that's another thing because people were noticing, thinking that the red colors were off. Like the one that's on Don Wells profile, Facebook, Facebook profile with uh, Summer Dancing, the for sale barrel. And the one we just saw earlier in this video. Well, it looks like there's all kinds of different colored ones here with this one. Look at that. That one's like a brownish kind of metal type barrel, it looks like. So Fred seems to think that this building right here to the right, is, he said he's saying behind there that there's more red barrels behind there, and that there is, and that there is uh, whiskey barrels behind there. Probably full of shit and piss, dude. That is fucking disgusting. These people are fucking animals <sighs> it's 
trying to pull up my chat on my phone. <laughs> right, Tessie? Hey Andy, when was that car put there? Huh? That old car, the red car that's down there. When was it put there? I blew it up years and years ago. You blew it up? Yeah, it blew up. In that spot? No, I, no, I mean, when was it parked there? Like, it's been parked there for probably five years. Okay. That one's been here for probably five. Gray one's probably been sitting where it was sitting for four or five. And that, that was a green one here. That red one's weird. It's got a, a metal sheet underneath it, and the dirt's soft as hell underneath. Like, really soft. That's where I had the sheet under it to pull out parts and to keep from getting nasty and dirty. I ain't nothing under it. You can pull it out of there. That's just where it's set there on top of leaves. Yeah, if it was, if you know it was there for a long time, then nobody would have put it there. Nah, nobody else put it. Like, it's been there. Oh. Putting out, putting it out. Like, so we're just going by Andy's word. So if you say it's, so then it's true. He said, play to see if they play, show anything to the right. Fred, because Fred wants to see if they go behind that. He wants to see if they actually go back there. That's why it was laying up. It's been a keep you clean when you slide under the car. Okay. It's a lot nicer to lay that down on top of that leaves than having to roll through the leaves and you slide across that aluminum sheet. The sheet come off the side of the building. That makes sense. That's old uh, press, print press stuff. I think that would explain the dirt, Jen, because if it's been there for years, nothing would grow under there, no roots. What did you say? I mean, we can stick a funnel under there. Hey, feel free to do anything you want to do. Roll through the leaves and you slide across that aluminum sheet. The sheet come off the side of the building. That makes sense. That's old uh, press, print press stuff. I I think that would explain the dirt, Jen, because if it's been there for years, nothing would grow under there, no roots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can stick a funnel under there, but hey, feel free. Do anything you want to do. Oh, yeah, there's there's more red barrels. I do see time. red barrels. Oh, yeah, that's going to collapse. Yep. That started falling some vines in here. I got to tell you, though, picturing everything not here, this is a beautiful property. Yeah, this is I mean, beautiful land. When I was a kid growing up, I could show you pictures of what this looks like. We have cows in here. This is beautiful. I assume there's a creek down there, probably a creek at the bottom on the other side. Runs all the way through. Yeah. The creek's over there. This is like a, a, a spring bed, just little creek. Ah. It comes all the way from the end of the holler up there. I would like to when I was a kid growing up, this used to be a garden. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Sun, the and sun's it, side. It, it went 10, 15 years, not in the Not right up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a mattress. Whenever Jen points out things like that, either a couch or a mattress, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Jen examined the blue cooler. It was empty. Okay. Chris, whenever Jen points out things like that, either a couch or a mattress, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's on track. <laughs> Where? Here you go. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> That's where right, you got that letter. Really? Yeah. Is that, that's plastic, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just say that is dog work right down there. Yeah. That's weak, that's yeah. Oh yeah, storage, storage building. Yeah. I built this my life. Yes. I just can't. I was a kid. Sorry, I guess I should slow it down. Sorry, my daughter's been asking me. Caitlin, okay, don't leave yet. Um Fred said the shop looks like it fell down. Huh.
Looks like it fell down. Oh yeah, storage, storage building. Yeah, I built this when I like fourteen kids. You built this? It's nice. Yes. Yeah, I just camped out as a kid. Ah, like... <laughs> uh, people give me shit if I don't stick the camera. Up. Whoa, there you go. Yeah, go ahead. Here. Yeah, I got it. Now I see something weird that I ain't seen before. What's that? That fucking grill right there. <laughs> really, bro? Is it nice? I don't remember. That I'll thing. tell you when I view the footage. It looks like a brand new one. The little. I have to ask you that question, by the way. So you haven't been up here in a long, maybe off and on, but you're not here half the time. And I mean, someone like, somebody could have put something on here on the property without you knowing about it, right? Now you tell me. I would know if there's a new looking grill with a thing. Would you think? Yeah. That's actually, it's not even rusted out or anything. Yeah, that's kind of weird. He is so full of it. Are you fucking for real? Sorry, I'm trying to help my daughter with something real quick. and But I'm interested in this at the same time. So I'm kind of like distracted. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> Are you what the hell? What else is up there? That is interesting, though. That you got stuff up here you didn't know about. Insignia TV. <laughs> Dude, somebody's been living here. What? He's finding stuff that he didn't Dude, even... Yeah, I don't know nothing about this. And a brand new grill. And a brand new grill. Like a little Weber grill. Oh. And there's a damn TV up here. I have How no TV? clue. How big is the TV? Is it a flat screen? Or? Like a 32-inch insignia flat screen. Wow. When your hotel room is your bedroom, and your living room, and your dining room, maybe you need... Why are there clothes in here? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mamaw used to go to flea markets. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Some, uh, uh, flea markets. Don't yeah. hurt yourself. Well, that's actually a big, big flat screen TV, 32 inch. That's one of the ones that's a so DVD and TV. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I flat screen. It in there. That's a good question. How the hell did they get it up there? Does it fit you that? I swear to God, I don't remember having a signal flat screen. Why would you put it up there? It's <laughs> a bad here. Oh. Are these people for real? They're so lame. The TV had to have power. That's, I don't know what he means by the TV had to have power. I don't know, but... It's ridiculous how he's just trying to act so like, uh, oh, like, oh, he wants to act. There's something he wants to separate himself from the property, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but this is so stupid. Rip your pants apart. <laughs> hey, uh, how structurally sound is this? It's not. <laughs> I don't think it went under there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll go with shit. Oh my gosh, man. Is there a trash there? Yeah, a there. Oh, actually, yeah, I see all the bedding and stuff. I'm going to go on the other side. Yeah, and buckets. Probably should go down there. I'm glad we're going to have to dig you out of here. Just clothes. Clothes, clothes. You know how many trash piles we find like this out in the woods?
I wonder if you guys are find that as funny as I do. How he just completely tried to that whole trash pile out there. Oh, you just try to completely normalize all that trash out there. Like, oh, you know, look, you know how many trash piles we see out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> it's so normal now, I guess, because it's on Andy's property. What the what is up with these guys? Are they like in love? I bet those clothes too. I mean, somebody put all those clothes up there too. You know how many trash piles we find like this in the woods? <laughs> all the time. Okay. All the time. Is all that your uh, homemade trash pile out there or somebody else do that? Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Looks like you have a <laughs> I'm not giving me like some abs. I'm going to have six pack by the end of this year. <laughs> if they keep putting out shit like this. What the serious? Like, I'm surprised he even put him on the spot about that trash pile, but that is funny. Did he, did he try to act? Let me hear what he responded to that. I probably put it there. Looks like a recycle pile. More so, more so what I'm talking about right now is Ryan and he, him being ridiculous. Not so I'm not so much focused on Andy at the moment, but it's just funny how there's things Ryan saying and trying to um for some reason change the narrative you know what i mean it, it that's what's suspicious like trying to paint a different picture of andy for some reason and fred i did that and i just we took it up in the go and burn it not you had somebody living up there but it's just closed it's just it's been up there my mom brought shit in from the flea markets and yard sales and Utah. Yeah. Oh, bottom of the couch, right there. Damn, I'm surprised you got me down here. I'm not able to sell that. Your pitch is. Look at this shit. What is that? Food, no proof from some sort of thing. Back in the past, 1930s, man. Real not soil. Stuff your grandmother put up there, possibly. Oh my god! Get it before the whole really show the us Andy there. Bernard's butt crack. I could have gone seriously the rest of my fucking life without seeing that. Are you fucking for real right now? Can he please that? I'm gonna have. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. Secondhand embarrassment, dude. What the hell is even happening right now? <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. Jody Sue just got excited. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> what kind of crack is that? I don't know. Uh, oh, my God. Look at that. Perfume bottle. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, at least they recycled. I mean, it's all plastic. Look at all that plastic. How bad is plastic for the earth? I could really, really freaking really rub this in right now. But, you know, I'm not petty like these people, so. 
<laughs> I thought I made him tell Ryan to check every small container or bottle they come across during their searches, but they kept walking past them. Piss drugs. Yeah, because that's probably why they want don't want to uh, see any freaking. Ugh, ugh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I would be surprised if there were people camping out. It's a sinkhole? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to go through this. Hey Andy, yes, who's your neighbor on this side? I yeah. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, these could be animal trails. This is beautiful. I just, man. I mean, the mountains are beautiful. <laughs> Can anybody else just hear his lame freaking, I guess, pickup line or whatever you want to say? Or is that supposed to be, I don't know how, is that supposed to be flattering? Just, I am so sorry. He said something about talked about how man this is beautiful and then said to his wife i'm talking about the mountains <laughs> I don't know. isn't that what he said <laughs> i don't know is that did i hear that right hold on this is beautiful i just man I mean, the mountains are beautiful. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, uh, it's top of a vehicle. Snake? Nope. Wow. I see snake holes all through there, too. This is seriously embarrassing. I just wired the mower up. He gets the mower and killed it. Oh, that'll do it. I killed a snake and posted it on Facebook. <laughs> it was just a little snake. That's what Jen said. Something's right here to the right. Oh, is that where? Let me guess. That must be where Fred's property is. I give Andy props for showing this and allowing them up there. I mean, I've been done. Oh, really? Haven't they already put this stuff out there? I mean, I'm more, like I said, focus on Ryan's dumb ass right now. It's too cold for snakes. <laughs> that is true. Except they had that snake that was in that box. But when was that? This, that was a weird. A.B. They took his channel. Are you serious? They took A.B.'s channel. For real, I thought he hit it. All right, Jen, the property that you said something is to the right. Yeah. 
See that white house right there? To the right of it, there's an empty property, which means straight that way. We'd have to go along the ridge just a little bit to hit that spot. I think it's worth it. And we were driving that direction right there, and she said there's something here, right here. Same. And it was right at that white building. Next to it, there's an empty property. And she was saying this way. So I think we walk the ridge. We'll be directly where she pointed. I remember her saying that. Yeah, I know. And it was right, right there. Oh, that's interesting. That's like it. Yeah. I will show you all where we are on the map, to the right of where uh, Jen had pointed and said there's something here, right here. So there's an empty lot, and we're kind of walking along this ridge in that direction. There's a trail up here, and there's a barbed wire fence. It looks, it looks like it's electrified, but the insulation posts are kind of broken up. I don't know if it's still alive. Probably not. It's a steep, steep ravine. Oh, so We're almost there. Oh yeah. As far as I can get, I don't want to cross over the property line. You, why did you all see something down there? Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, can't really, can't really see. I guess I came down there. Man, that is deep. Recordings just got. I don't know how much more of this I can. It's Dana from Streamyard. I'm so excited to. It's really lame. What? Oh yeah, there's a lot of leaves. How far down the hill do you want? I think that's fine. I don't know how far out here. Dodge. Sorry. Anything over the bank up here is dodge. Dodge. What? He was on this bank. He went on this bank. He's on the bank down there. Oh. It goes. Okay. When you start coming that way, the one that we came up, yeah. you see that other road that goes through there? That's the back. Okay. Between it. Gotcha, gotcha. He was in that driveway cutting the higher side. So he was. He was that way. I'll show you where he okay. was at when we go back out. Wait, who are you talking about now? Where does he live? Where, does, where did he live, dog? I, I know he comes from Georgia. No, I mean, did he live in this area? Oh, he's trying to move to this area. Yeah. He's trying to buy, buy property. He hadn't oh, he come in and never seen it. He bought, he bought it sight unseen. I remember that. Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanted some country land. Yeah, I think. I think I can. I can you remember the scene where Jen basically said, yeah. "If you were right here, she was. We were right there on the road, just past that white building." And hey, she, a back. she pointed. Well, I don't know if she meant that side or this side, but it's this area right here. Yeah. I see that piece down there for sale. Man. It's this whole property without anything on it. Yeah, I think so. There's a sign down there. Kelly Ray. That would be interesting to be able to get to the base of this hill. You don't want to get up here down there. No. There's a cul there's a culvert down there too. So that's where the yeah that's where the creek goes. Well, there, okay, so it goes along the bottom, and then it kind of branches Boring. there too. This is Creek. Yeah. I can't watch all this. this is seriously. There's a hill on that side. Mountain. All these trees weren't like this. It was clear. It was clear. Oh wow. See the valley. Then when you go on up through here, they was hayfield. Oh, so Walking. Broken branch. It might have been you know how they sound like deer horns. So we're going along the road. Huh? Ben Hill, does it go along the bottom here? No, that's just a creek. That's Thompson's driveway. Okay, where's Fred in relation to this property? Back. <laughs> where's Fred in relation to this property? Okay. Where is Fred in relation to this property? Deer horns. So we're going along the road. Huh? Ben Hill, does it go along the bottom here? No, that's just a Tom, creek. That's Thompson's driveway. Okay, where's Fred in relation to this property? Back that way? Okay, his mom and dad's is straight across the hill. Over this hill. Over this okay. hill. Okay. Uh, he's on the cross. Yeah. With the road. Like, but if the road you, goes if back to the hit end. This ridge right here, if you go on that ridge and you circle that away, it brings you right down behind his house. Okay. Okay. And if you go this ridge, you cut around that away and you come around on the other side of his house. But if you go right here and you're right back through there, that's that same path that Brandon from JLR took. You know, out that way. Yeah, yeah. out that way. Would that See, I thought they walked on the other side. Oh, uh, the other side of Ben Hill. Of, he, knows, uh, one... he knows about that path because it's probably the path that he walked out, walk was walking down, and 
went and, <laughs> onto Fred's property when the cops were there that night. During all that shooting stuff going on, the drunk guy coming out there with guns and <clears throat> Let's see here. Reading Grace's comments. I thought Fred was sending a video of him searching both of the properties. If not, that would be pretty good. Yeah. He sent me some video earlier. We're going to have to go over it. Because uh, <laughs> it's already been an hour. Um, and 15 minutes. I wasn't really going to stay on for very long. But... He did send me some video today. I don't know how much more of this I can watch. Like, you guys here, I think we might just in, just, I don't know. It's really dumb. Like, you guys know where to find it if you want to watch it. I can't. Um, Brian finds nothing. Here we go. Here's his channel. I'm not leaving right this second, but I have to pee. <laughs> so I might play a few, uh, another couple minutes of it while I go pee. Um, show the outhouse. Ryan, you have done been on Fred's property. It's called trespassing. Yeah, he probably has. He's probably trying to play it off like he hasn't, but... Um, It's just, it's just, but yeah, I am going to play, I haven't even watched it because I haven't even had a chance to even look over the videos he sent me today. Once I'm really wanting to, I'm trying to, I don't know what's even in them. Um, it was him going through the, I know that he, he took a video yesterday. He was want, going through the properties and he was trying to find it, but. Oh yeah. He said they didn't go behind the shop. I mean, I guess I could, I could get, keep looking, but, or keep watching it, but no, they didn't. It looks like they didn't. Go behind the shop. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our... People tell me if I don't figure out the Open whale well song. No. Oh, no. wait. Water up. He said that was the old one. The whale's up right now. Let's check that out. Roxanne, you bet Fred knows who the peeping Tom is. <laughs> okay, Roxanne, you're in the wrong chat. Oh, I know, Penny. You're definitely in the wrong chat. Roxanne, I'll help you out. Um, that's true. Give up the popper. About what, sweet D? Did I have to pee? Yeah. I don't actually have anything to drink right this second. But here, let me see. Hey. Okay, so is that a wooden barrel? I gotta no. tell you, Andy, 90% of this is someone's gonna let you walk around their property and look around. There's nothing on the property. You know what I mean? Unless you don't know about it. It's one of those type situations. You know, I said the door was 
screwed shut on the house. Yeah. So I'm going to put you in a window. That way you can. Oh, yeah. You can go down in there. <laughs> uh, be careful. I just, like I said, unless somebody puts something on here without you knowing. So he's just taking Andy at his word. Oh, we're not going to look because unless there's nothing, unless somebody puts something on your property. Because you know, first of all, you know your whole bullshit video going there is bullshit to begin with. You know you weren't accomplishing anything with this. You didn't even want to look anywhere. You already got your mind made up. You don't want to look because, oh, somebody might have just, oh, it's, if somebody, if there's anything, somebody put something. <laughs> okay. God, you're an idiot. But for some reason, that excuse doesn't work with Fred. Where is the fucking logic? logic i don't i mean it's okay if you're gonna go that feel that way but i don't understand you claim that you have proof that fred is fred wants you to put this out will you please like i mean you think about how many views you could get seriously prove right now that fred's been lying to us all or that he's guilty we're waiting Yeah, I guess that's the house. Like, holy crap. This, you know, this is the property they lived on, guys. There's piss and shit barrels everywhere. Fred just said, please do. Yeah, they don't want to go looking inside because, oh, it's going to be super messy and we they're not going to be able to explain all the fucking shit everywhere inside you know they don't care to go through fred's stuff who they know who the sister literally said people were squatting at the place fred hadn't been for six months but it's okay to pilfer through all that shit and put everything in there out but yet we can't go through this house because oh um oh there's nothing in anyways not unless somebody else put it there. They do look inside. So they look through the window or what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a pipe that goes down, tanks on cinder blocks. You got a, uh, Andy, what's that, like a four-inch? Fred said, what about the cellar under Andy's house? Pipe, six-inch pipe. Be quite a trick to fit something down a six-inch pipe. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They're, 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 they're not, yeah. It's the uh, it's the old dug ones that are huge. Yeah. All right. You know I grew what? up around here, and I don't think that yeah, you don't go to Leech Creek and go through somebody's house <laughs> yeah. unless you're from here and you know, you know somebody I, really well. I can picture this clean and being actually not a bad place. It's a nice stove, man. Then curio cabinets right yeah. there are from the 30s. Wow. You want to like that? I need to go in there and get my lizard cages. I'm going to get me some more lizards. She get that silver out of there. That's nice. That's a chinchilla cage. Yeah. <laughs> she took the chinchilla. Okay. 
Yeah, this is 125. He said, what about the seller under? Okay, so this is the seller, he said. Um, so is this not, wait. Fred said this is the seller. What's he mean by that? Sent the chinchilla and sold it back to the pet store. <laughs> Why? Money. Some of those old kinds? Yeah. Like wood burning? Wood cut. Whoa. That would awesome. go for even more. <laughs> oh, yeah. People love those things. Keep them building cabins and they want that stuff to build oh, yeah. He's wearing a shroom um, freaking hoodie. Like, dude. You're gonna sit here and try to act like you're only you're only into fucking weed. He's literally wearing a freaking sweatshirt with shrooms all over him. Which hey, been there, done that. But does this guy still think he's like 20 years old or something? That asbestos is killing me. where they lived okay he said that's so that is andy's house but okay living on cow patties I wonder if they can get what if they could they, did they go into where uh jody sue used to stay where um fred and laura had to help try to catch her cat or whatever when she was leaving with all the dog shit and cat shit that she was sleeping with on her bed <laughs> i'm serious let's see that let's see what these people were sleeping on i want to see it Oh, yeah, I'm surprised you haven't had stuff stolen already. I probably have, and I just don't know what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Do you just realize that there are so many places to. Right over there is a mound. I don't know if you saw it. And it's, got, it's right over here. We were digging. And then this pool. Remember something? That's an old pool, right? Yeah. And then there's just a blood. Mm -hmm. But this right here bothers me. We just have to dig oh, pretty yeah. deep. We've been fidgeting in it. There's all kinds of love. That looks like an old, um, an old uh, fire firewood pile. Maybe, yeah. Rotted out. Oh, that's for sure. It looks like how much like this? Uh, it's rotted wood. Yeah, I recognize it. My parents had. A bunch of old piles are on our property. Oh, shit, man. I told a funny joke, too. Oh, man. That was a funny one. I can't redo it now. It's not the same to repeat a joke. I was, of course, laughing at that shovel. Thinking about what does he expect to get done, you know do with that shovel like and i said he probably he, i said his pro his life or what did i say his life his wife probably lied to him about how big six inches is or something. <laughs> and he probably thinks that 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 shovel's like a five foot shovel 
<laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Sorry. <laughs> it was funnier when I said it while I was muted, but no, seriously. Is that really the tools he brought? Is that the tools in his little tool belt? <laughs> I got the shot. <laughs> Scoop Joyce is litter. <laughs> in his fanny pack. <laughs> it's little fanny pack. Oh god! Oh my god! He's got to be kidding me right now. He filmed himself digging. Yeah, it's roots. It's all roots. He filmed himself digging with a freaking shovel that's made for plant planting flowers. This dude is really tough. It's hard packed dirt under this. <laughs> Plastic bags. Plastic bags. You got Tostitos bags. Yeah. Ew, I what is bags. that? Ew! What is that? Do, they do know that Jody Sue shit and pissed in buckets, right? Ew! What the hell is that? Shit bags. <laughs> That's a shovel you use to bury your shit while camping. <laughs> Karma is queen's like, I know what that's for. <laughs> you missed it, Sheba. She's, I don't know, stirring some poop soup. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like, Jen seems like a nice lady and everything. I'm not making fun of her. It's just. Oh. Plastic bags. Plastic bags. What the hell is bag. that? That's disgusting. Yeah, I have a feeling that was either a composting thing or just a composting thing. Yeah, it's probably thing? composting. <laughs> it looks like a compost right there in the bowl. Radioactive. Oh my oh, yeah. god. What the hell, dude? Yeah, that's just She's like, a collection of. Uh, Rotted stuff. She, it's all over. It's all over her. Oh my god! Ew. She said it smells. She's like it just smells bad. <laughs> oh my god! You guys, I don't know. See. This guy's globalness or his naivety, how do you say that word? Like, the stuff that he doesn't know. I mean, he just is so new and doesn't know so many things. That I don't, I mean, he's he just came into the community like, what? Smell your hands. <laughs> what? You put B real in a timeout. No, we like B real here. <laughs> Sorry, B real. I don't see where it was done. Oh, I don't know how to do that for 600 seconds. You timed her out for like 10 minutes, poor thing. Hold on. There. Now she should be able to comment. It's okay. 
<laughs> Congratulations, you've been baptized by Jenny Sue. Ew. Ew. You've been, ew. That is probably her baptism stuff. That's what Fred just said. He said, congratulations, you've been baptized by Jody Sue. That probably is some kind of weird ritual freaking thing. That's probably why they stored all that stuff. That's disgusting. That is freaking gross. What's wrong with these people? Ew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just Why? yeah, collection of uh, rotted stuff. I would touch that. Rotted food, anyway. Yeah, you touched it. No, you touched worse, haven't you? No. Oh, no. Well, with all the thorns. <laughs> it's poop soup. <laughs> Poor Jen. I feel bad for her that her her freaking husband's exploiting her like this. And everything. Everybody just tells me it's a hopeful cause she's dead. I don't know. Like, I feel like this. Like, you know, you know, well, like the person who did it. Right? Yeah. You know. A lot of things are hopeless. Well, a lot of things are hopeless, but it's even more hopeless if everyone gives up. Everybody gives up. Of course, it shouldn't be found if nobody. If, yeah, then you got zero odds. Right. At least somebody looking, you've got 0.01 or something. I mean, <laughs> better than a zero. Bit better. <laughs> right. It's just like me. I guess Fred just said something kind of funny. <laughs> so he was saying that Ryan, that, okay, so he was saying that that was poop soup, okay, that Jen was stirring, saying that that was Jody Sue's shit, and that Ryan wants Jen to smell like Jody Sue. That's <laughs> oh gross. I guess that's how Jerry Sue spells. <clears throat> if you guys want a um, visual. Oh, man. Or like a, well, if not a visual, but a, like a, how do you say it? But in smell terms, a sniff. <laughs> sniff. <laughs> Oh man, I know a crazy funny clip could make it. Yes, like this, he's gonna be trolled for freaking centuries with this one. Like I, this this dude is not gonna be taken serious by anybody ever again. Like if he thinks any freaking media company is picking him up for some kind of documentary on Summer Wells, he just threw that shit out the window because this is like so embarrassing. She probably made Ryan smell her finger in the car. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Literally shit, yeah. And, it, you know, Ryan's sitting there putting his wife in danger, like, they're out there with that radioactive shit everywhere. Seriously. He's such a, he's one of what I call a sissy boy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, right? 
it looks like they've really planted a lot of somebody out there has really wanted to. I mean, I know it's been a few years since summers went missing, but that really does not look like an area that somebody was decorating with flowers. He probably, oh my God. Guys. <laughs> Piece of metal. <laughs> We're all equally powerful. You have been programmed not to have power. Everyone has a sense of intuition. It's just a matter of how much do you choose to listen to it. It's better. This is a typical way that people. Oh, so, so, okay. It gets better. Cher hooked them up and said she had talked to Laura and she said Ziggy was a homewrecker. I don't think Cher should be talking about homewrecker at all. And that Ryan's wife said Andy was a sincere, nice man. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be, we'll be waiting on that footage. We'll be, we'll be waiting on that to come out. That was a comment somebody sent me. Work underneath cars, yeah. put somebody down. So it does make sense. Can you hold that? Don't, don't cut yourself. Oh gosh, it's so packed down. Yeah, it's soft up here, but see how packed it is? Oh yeah. Yep. I told him. He, he told me it's, it was like, it's been a few years. Okay, so. I mean, he, I, does, he does just yeah. want it over. I mean, I went three hours away and people knew who I was. Right. I mean, I just want this done. I want summer found. That's so I'm not even go home. Uh, yes, September Virgo. Thank you for. I was actually meaning, I'm glad you reminded me because I do need to respond to that. I'm trying to think what, how to. I'll have to remember to. I'm trying. I don't know what to send. Really, food stuff. If anybody wants to help that food, really, you know, he needs um, right now. It's the main thing. I got him some cleaning supplies, um, but he's not like picky at all with food, like at all. Um. Like, that's the main thing he would really need right now is food. Because we're still in the process of getting him on um, food stamps and stuff. And getting his uh, <clears throat> insurance card. Ziggy can join the Jezebel Club with us over at Justin's. When Cal said Jezebel, I died laughing. Oh, my God. I was shocked when I heard both of what was said. When did Cher say this? Was this yesterday or? Because I did hear that Andy has been trying to get a hold of Laura. I have heard that. But I didn't know if it was actually true or what. Jody Sue is going live. It will take her an hour, I'm sure. Ernie, <laughs> wrench, yeah. So I like be real, anyways. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. Oh, the found that way. She's safe. Just put closure. Yeah. But they need this over with. Just done playing game. It seems. It seems like they look into your history, anyone in this neighborhood, and you're guilty by association, right? If you've guilty done anything by bad. Association or guilty because of something you've done in your past. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still, I still don't feel that. What do you feel? You feel now like people are, people are kind of coming around, seeing the real Andy? Some, maybe. Some of them are. Some of them are still dead set on their. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you'll change deal. 100% of the people's minds. No. That's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean, I just. No, I agree with you, though. It's just something's got to happen to get closure. We have literally looked at probably every mattress. 
can look down to the car. We searched the whole property along the ridge line. I mean, I don't know what else we can look at here. Uh, oh. I ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> You're cleared. All right, Jen, what do you think? We've cleared we done. the property. Yeah, appreciate appreciate you, Andy, yeah. for doing this for us. Thank you. Thank all. you so much, yep. man. Glad y'all had a good time. Thanks. Right, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Come on. Okay. So, what's your take on Andy now that you got to actually shake his hand and talk to him right. in person? I really got a feeling that he was a good, that he's a good guy. And, um, you know, he and I talked just our, to ourselves, and he didn't seem nervous. He was. Fred said they never looked where the wooden whisk, whiskey barrel was. To when they flipped, I, um, I want to listen to this. I don't know where that is. You mean this, you mean this right here? That's not a mattress. This is the typical way that people work underneath cars, yeah. put something down. So it does make sense. Can you hold that? Don't get, don't cut yourself. Oh gosh, it's so packed down. Yeah, it's soft up here, but see how packed it is? Oh yeah. Yeah. You could ask him how long. I told him. He, I, he told me it's, it was like, been there for years. Okay, so. It's packed down. I need everyone to hear it. I mean, he, I, does, he does just yeah. want it over. I mean, I went three hours away and people knew who I was. Right. I mean, I just want this done. I want summer found necessarily not to even go home. Went three hours away. Where was that? The found. That way she's safe. Just to put closure. closure. Yeah. But we need this over with. I'm just done playing games. It, it seems, it seems like they look into your history. Anyone in this neighborhood. In the beginning. Oh, I don't want to go all the way back to the beginning. I thought you were just talking here. Yeah, I just, I want to, I don't want to go all, rewind all the way to the beginning of the video. Is that what you mean? Yeah, because he didn't go where the whiskey barrels are. Yeah, I'm not sure what you, what you mean by the metric. Or the mattress, or was it right here? We done. Yeah, appreciate appreciate you, Andy, yeah. for doing this for us. Thank you. Thank all. you so much, yep. man. Glad y'all had a good time. Thanks. Right, thank you. Thank you. Come on. Okay. No, Fred, Fred said there's whiskey barrels up at 125 too. He says there's some behind a uh, that. 50 feet to the right of the house. Like I said it earlier in the video. Oh, halfway back. So what's your take on Andy? Now that you got to actually shake his hand and talk to him right. in person. I really got a feeling he was a good, that he's a good guy. And, um, you know, he and I talked just our, to ourselves and, he didn't seem nervous. He was, you know, looking me in the eye, and I didn't feel like he had anything to hide. He even got emotional talking about his family down the road that has cerebral palsy. Yeah. Didn't it look like he was getting emotional? Yeah, it did. That was, yeah, so your take is that he's. I think he's a good guy and. Did do anything wrong? No, and especially the fact that he, you know. I know about that boy too. Fred told me about that boy. It's the beginning of the video, the mattress thing. I wonder if uh, Andy knew about that boy being abused too. Freely let us look on his mind. Like he did not care what was 
No, we're like and, and that's, what, that's Andy's buddies. Okay, we'll go back to the mattress. About the well, and he opened up the door. Yeah, and, every, we went everywhere. Yeah. He wasn't like keeping watch or anything. He was, he was fine with it. Yeah, he didn't even. So, he didn't. He let us walk off, walk wherever we want. Yeah. So one twenty-five off the list. Yeah. Check. <laughs> Check. All right. Um. Yeah. As a place, as a well, as a peace to the community and exoneration for those who've been falsely accused. Yeah. Including Fred. So you guys wanted me to go back here to something all the way. I'm not an observant person, unfortunately, so I don't notice things like when it could be like uh, here. That's not a mattress. It's it's pretty soft ground here. I don't, I don't think this is it. Something I stepped on and I could hear it. Yeah, I don't. That's funny. All kinds of cool stuff in there. I think you won't mind if I take some. <laughs> <laughs> you might. <laughs> it's a piece of concrete on top of it, Jen. Nine thirteen. Okay. It's a piece of it's not, <laughs> not a mattress. Whenever Jen points out things like that, either a couch or a mattress, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, it's all tracked. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit. I mean, That's where you guys put the cat letter. Ew. Really? Ew. What the hell? <laughs> Exonerated Andy, thanks, Detective Ryan. <laughs> oh, man. That looks like a big mound underneath. I know. They said cat litter. Seriously. Hold on. Wow. Parts of the deer. Is that, that's plastic, isn't it? Yeah. I put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that is dog work right down there. Yeah, that's reaper. That's the yeah. mat. Oh, yeah. Storage. Storage building. Yeah. I built this one. I have like 14 kids in. You built this? Nice. Yes. I used to camp out as a kid, I think. <laughs> uh, people are going to be shit if I don't stick the camera up. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, go ahead. Here. Oh, I got it. Now I see something weird that I ain't seen before. Yeah, so Fred is. Sorry, I had to call my daughter real quick, but uh, Fred just made an interesting statement about this mattress saying that he he bets this is the mattress that Jody Sue was sleeping on. <laughs> Serious 
seriously. And he's not, and I mean, it's funny, but like probably the truth. Because literally Fred saw cat and shit and stuff like all over the mattress she was sleeping on. Like she just sleeps among shit. Like, and then they pull up that mattress and say, oh, there's cat. Oh, that's where you put the cat litter. Here. It's all trash. Yeah. I'm going to play this in one second. Here you go. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's where you guys put the cat litter. So, really? Parts of the deer. That, that's plastic, isn't it? Yeah. I put that on there. <laughs> I put that on there. I was going to say, that is dog work right down there. Yeah. That's reapers. That's the. Yeah. Mat. Oh yeah, storage, storage building. Yeah, I built this when I was like fourteen, fifteen. You built this? It's nice. Yes. Yeah, just... I used to camp out as a kid. Ah, <laughs> uh, people give me uh, shit if I don't stick the camera. Whoa! There you go. Yeah, go ahead. Here. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I see something weird that I ain't seen before. What's that? That fucking real right there. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Is it nice? I don't remember now. Uh, I'll tell you when I view the footage. It looks like a brand new one, the little... I have to ask you that question, by the way. So you haven't been up here in a long... Maybe off and on, but you're not here half the time. And, I mean, someone like... Somebody could have put something on here on the property without you knowing about it, right? Now you tell me. I would know if this new-looking grill was a thing. Would you say? Yeah. That's actually, it's not even rusted out or anything. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> what else is up there? That is interesting though. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, real quick, I wanted to talk about that. That was something that, now I have to look into this more. Um, listen back, Fred said, he said he used it to camp out. Oh, he used the mattress to camp out on? Is that what he's trying to say? Well, <laughs> with, with cat shit all over it? Okay. Um, so, sorry, you guys. It's weird seeing yourself on camera. Um, Fred was telling me earlier about somebody who Don Wells used to go to uh, Knoxville with. Um, name, his name is David. And he is a sex offender out of Florida. So another buddy of Don Wells, who was a sex offender, and for some reason, another connection to Knoxville. And so I hear, which is about to be 111, by the way, it says 110, but I just so happened to look at one, I don't know, weird, looked at 110 and said 111 today. Um, so I hear that Crystal's Crime Time had the Brits on or something. They had a niece that went missing who was related to that David. Well, David Britt is a sex offender out of Florida. And that's a buddy of Don Wells. And if you look up his Facebook, he has like little, like, yeah, it's weird. And, oh, and they call the guy Arkansas from what I hear. His nickname is Arkansas. 
So I kind of wonder, did he meet that guy in Arkansas or what? I haven't had a chance to look into this guy, but if I'm just saying it, so if people have, I can't look into everything, but I just wanted to put that out there. If anybody is wanting to look into this guy, um, I hear that he, yeah, they used to go on, go on cocaine runs, he said. Him and so let's see, David Britt. Okay, so if we go to a Florida sex offender registry, I should be able to find that pretty easily. Um, Florida sex offender registry. Let's see if we can find the guy. Hold on, guys. One second. Hold on. All right, so let me see here if I can find this guy. Yeah. Everyone's just on it. We need to find David Britt. I wonder if. I don't see a David out of. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to look into this a little bit. Or maybe out of Arkansas. I wonder if it's Arkansas. I don't know if he lived in Florida. He, well, he was born in Florida. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Fred just reminded me more about this David guy. So David, guys, David Britt. You guys remember Crystal Spencer? Crystal Spencer. Fred says this is another Jody Sue, like another holler bunny. Crystal Spencer, the one that Candace caught Dawn with. Anyways, David has a child with Crystal. So this David, this this pedo has a child with Crystal Spencer. You see how everything kind of gets goes uh all connects? With these people. Great Joe the Sheriff is he is awesome. Yes. Yes, Rach. That is her. Yeah, she's came up a few times as Crystal Spencer. Didn't, what happened recently with her? Wasn't she like arrested? What was it the most recent thing with her? I'm trying to remember. David, who has a brother, lives in Florida. Yes, he has ties to Florida. Yep. David Britt is in an RSO. Nah. Well... <laughs> I would look more into the guy because I know that's what I was saying earlier. Crystal crime time. I was telling, um, stop. What are you doing? I would have to, look, I have to look into this uh, da David guy more. Fred said it wasn't David Britt that was on her channel, though, that it was one of his, like, I don't know. I'll have to look. I haven't had a chance to even look. Just, I heard something about Crystal, Crime Time, and the Brits, and, you know, a missing girl. But there's something with this guy. His brother's an RSO. So David's brother lives on the creek across from David, says uh, Fred. 
Okay, so is it David's brother this RSO? We're going to have to look into this here. Then you look up David Britt's profile. He has some weird, like, his profile picture is like kids' handwriting and crowns. Kevin Bacon, Bacon pedo movie is creepy. She's in jail. Wonder how good of friends he is with Don. Well, David, he used to do Coke runs. That's, you know, I would look in, that's, I would really look into that guy, whether he is an RSO or not. They both work in paint and sheetrock. Yeah. Did David and Crystal get arrested together or maybe? A oh, yeah, that is true. Um, let me see. See, I haven't even had a chance to look into this guy. Let's see. David, Britt, and Crystal Spencer. Let's see. Let me see if anything comes up. Who is this David Britt who was 25 convicted killer who police said dressed as a guard and got a sympathetic female correctional officer to escort him out of state prison. It's back behind bars. David Britt was ar arrested Tuesday without incident. And this was back in 1999 from a South Central Correctional Facility which he fled Saturday. A Decaturville resident spotted Britt hiding behind a barn, grew suspicious, and called the authorities. Is this the same David Britt? Britt pleaded guilty in 1990 to killing a Fayette Academy coach, Kenny Oakley, the husband of a teacher's aide with whom Britt began an affair with when he was a teenager. Mm, I don't know if that's really him. Hold on, let me um All right. Mama T, I wanna watch. I, I'm I'm sorry I kind of I, I'm I hate that I kind of wasted an hour of my life watching that. David Wayne Brett. Life imprisonment for first degree murder. Look, the judge is Judge David Wells. <laughs> see, I'll have to look into see if this is all. Let's see. Let's do Crystal Spencer. I know she was arrested here recently. Um, Don cheated on Candace with Crystal Spencer. Right here, this might be it. Mm. Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I know, I know his Facebook and stuff like that. I haven't had a... That's Robert. Ew. Ew. Yeah, see, there's a lot to look into with this guy. I just... <sighs> I know that I've seen articles on this. Hmm. I do remember that she was arrested recently and I could have, it could have been in, I might've, I can't remember exactly where I saw it. I, I can't, but I do know she was arrested, but I'm probably that's, I did want to talk about that real quick and just to put that out there so we can start maybe looking into that just so I don't forget. I wanted to mention it real quick. I told Luminous to remind me, but I am going to go for now. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think, make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, the videos. So Fred was at Ben Hill Road again today. I have more videos that we do have to go over still. But not today. Oh, thank you, Rhiannon. In mid 40s. So, do you think David's in mid 40s? I don't think so. I think this guy is probably about 60. Uh, every single night about, wow, it's almost one thirty in the morning. Yeah, the first 30, 40, 45 minutes is probably the best of today's, tonight's live, I would guess. All right, guys. Did Crystal Spencer pass away? Wasn't she found? See, that's why I was wondering, too. Did Crystal Spencer pass away? Why was I thinking that she passed away? But I can't remember. That I was thinking that too, that I heard that, but I was like. Oh, I can't just say goodnight, Fred. He's not typing a chat. He's just typing to me in Facebook. He doesn't know. I, I can't, I could have, I heard, did remember hearing something about that, but I think it was just that, that she was arrested. But his, uh, if Fred ever commented in chat, it would say Fred Hill. And yeah, but he's, his Facebook is the one where he's wearing a hat. Over fifties. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for hanging out, but I will be back tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.